Testing, testing, one, two. Hi guys, welcome back to VR Essentials Systems Go. This is where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. And today we're here to talk about whether you should buy the Oculus Quest 2 128 gigabytes or whether you should wait. All right, let's roll the intro. Intro, intro. Ooh, welcome to your essentials all right intro finished all right guys by the way if you're new to the channel very nice to meet you welcome to this craziness and a huge welcome back to all our regular viewers and subscribers because you are awesome and it's thanks to your love and energy that i want to keep on doing these videos so let's transition over to the main screen where all the data is now as you guys know basically the oculus quest 2 has been released again now it's had some you know some issues it was temporarily recalled because there were some issues with the form and all those kind of different things and they also delete decided sorry to very cheekily release the 128 gigabyte for people to buy when a few weeks before they had the 64 gigabyte now they decide to recall a product, not apologize to people and say, by the way, um, you know, we're going to kind of cheat on you guys and just release a more powerful Quest, which has more memory at the same price that you bought it at 64. I don't know how you, you felt, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know how you felt. Were you able to get some money back, exchange your Quest, or were you just left in the lurch? What happened to you guys that really really would like to know because I would be really uh, I'd be pissed excuse my language if I knew that was going to happen and the excuse was oh I got to recall some products because there are some issues with the foam I mean okay I'm just saying leave a comment below it'd be great to have your feedback however let's look at other data uh, because we also know that what's going to happen is now in Oculus the Oculus Rift came out in 2012 then three years later came out the, okay, the Gear VR, okay, so this was kind of like the portable VR 360. Then three years later again, we had the Oculus Go. However, the Oculus Go really did help to basically put uh, VR, you know, I would say, I would say this is really the first standalone product that really put things on the map for a complete VR solution in terms of feeling like you're in another world. Uh, and not using a phone, okay? The Go is amazing. I still believe it's an amazing product. Um, but of course, it was three degrees of freedom, which means you could only rotate and move, you know, your head. You couldn't walk inside of this uh, new new reality. And then one year later, guys, one year later came out the Oculus Quest number one. One year later, which again was the... Uh, was the first six degrees of freedom standalone VR device that enables you to walk in virtual reality, bend and really experience this alternate reality just like in real life. Now wait, and then if we go back, this was May 21st, 2019, and then August 24th, 2020, which is basically another year later or 15 months later may uh, june july august so three months so yeah 15 months later bang we had the oculus quest 2 that came out guys oculus quest 2 that came out only a year and a few months later now there are rumors that there will be an oculus quest 3 coming out zuckerberg has said that not only is the oculus quest 3 in the works but the company is already in the early stages of working on the Oculus Quest 4. Now, also, there is a tweet that I can't find, but I saw it before and I'll try to find it again. John Carmack said, and I quote by memory, that it's best to use your Oculus Quest 2 at 90 hertz and not 120 hertz because of the fans and the overheating potential issues. He said this in a tweet, guys. You can go on Twitter, you can go and try and search for it. I will try to search for it again. To me, that means that Oculus Quest 3 is around the corner. It has to be. Because the Oculus Quest 2, basically, let me try to explain to you. 
every single device that they release is always ex especially the experimental stuff that's inside of the experimental section is generally a means to say that whatever you use the most kind of means that it's like a focus group it's like a mass testing of different things not just to see whether it can actually work uh, on the mass level on, on on a million different headsets let's say but also based on your preference they're probing what you like what you don't like what you're using the most what you're not using the most and they will basically take that and put it in to the next headset as a form of non-experiment if you if you wish and as well of course add more experimental things on the next on the next product now by the way big disclaimer facebook you need a facebook login to use your oculus quest uh number two oculus quest one i think you don't need it yet um, and disclaimer, they also are able allegedly to use the pass-through cameras to scan everything in your home uh, and also record your conversations in um, parties and various different apps and things, you know, and also, of course, Oculus Move and all this. And Facebook, uh, you know, as you know, they're known for uh, allegedly from specific different uh, sources to use all this data to subliminally um, uh, uh, dictate your your thoughts before you even come out with it so you can make certain purchases to influence your lifestyle if you wish so that uh, you will buy a certain brand uh, or vote for a specific government or vote on a specific vaccine you may want to use or whatever based on all that data okay so this is just a disclaimer um so anyway back to today's video so um should you buy the oculus quest 2 at 128 gigabytes or not well let's go back the other thing about the Quest is now um, the fact that they're selling a product that is more powerful and they haven't really told you about this for those who bought 64 gigabyte. And let's be honest, guys, come on. Facebook is not exactly the most transparent of companies. They've always done things, been very cheeky, gone against the law, but bloody CEOs never done jail time. None of the executives have done jail time. They've always been able to to weave their way out, pay huge fines. And, you know, you can't take their word based on anything. That's Facebook for you, okay, guys? Um, I'm not trying to diss them. I'm just trying to tell you the truth. That's who they are. So at the end of the day, I believe that if the Oculus Quest 2 came out in August 24th, 2021, sorry, uh, 2020, so basically last year the chances are it will come out this year and i i think i personally think that now i could be completely wrong but i see two dates for them to release it first of all um they will have oc the next they're gonna have another meeting uh in october 28th let me get the article uh where are you so facebook VR conference 2021. Uh, it's actually happening on October uh, VR AR. October 28, guys. So, October 28 basically is the day that they will announce all the biggest news. Everything that basically all the products they're working on, all the stuff, all the technologies. And most undoubtedly, of course, when the Oculus Quest 3, uh, when the Oculus Quest 3 will be announced, will be coming out. Now, I believe there's two important dates. Christmas, come on guys, everyone buys at Christmas time. And the other one obviously is around May. May is generally speaking where they've really released things in the past. And also let's forget, let's not forget PS VR number two is coming out next year now we don't know when but it's very possible that sony is going to be very cheeky and release it this year who knows guys come on we don't know the fact is they have a product that's ready to be rolled out all that's missing is the official date as when it's going to come out but i'm just saying that and also apple will be releasing the next headset next year but that is we don't know whether that's going to coincide uh you know with with Oculus's or Facebook's strategy. And also let's not forget that um, Oculus released the Oculus Quest 2, we thought was sooner than supposed to be, supposed to be released because of the release of the Xbox 
uh, the new consoles that came out, they wanted to compete with those. So it's very possible there is going to be something coming out uh, in between that's also going to spur them to want to release the Oculus Quest 3 sooner than later. But the fact is, if they're already working on Oculus Quest 4, we know that the Oculus Quest 3 is most probably, I would say, it's safe to assume, almost done, almost ready to ship, to go over and get out. So I'm just saying, should you buy the Oculus Quest 2 at 128 gigabyte? No. I wouldn't. I seriously wouldn't. Unless you have tons of money and you're willing to sp splash your cash and you don't care because you can just afford a new one, well, stopping you, right? But if you're someone who's like me, uh, most of us, who, you know, takes us a while to save money and stuff, I would wait at least until October 28th uh, until Facebook released the news about when uh, you should buy your Oculus Quest 2 and uh, Oculus Quest 3 uh, should you if you should buy your Oculus Quest 2 then or then you know but and also let's not forget guys they just did an update with version 32 or they're about to do the update there's going to be bugs so I'm just saying no don't buy now wait until the end of October before you buy the Oculus Quest 2 you have it here this is my advice guys up to you what you do guys i gotta thank you because it's thanks to you that this channel grows let's go to the vo essentials channel and read some of the comments and also welcome some new subscribers to the channel so let's just transition over to the youtube vo essentials youtube channel we'll go to the previous video uh, which was all about the updates for the oculus quest 2 and I'd like to thank NASA73. We hope that they will pay attention and focus on the ability uh, of the processor to make the image clearer through artificial intelligence. Great comment. Thanks, NASA. Azazel Lopez, I like the new features, but the game runs laggy now. Okay, leave some comments below. Let me know what's been going on if you guys have any issues with your Oculus Quest. Uh, Kibura, thank you. Greetings from Spain. Hey, greetings from Singapore. Hola. Uh, Viper Salamanda. Um, if you don't have a quest, I don't play on quest. Why make a video? Well, I did. I did say it's it's to bring awareness about the fact that you need a Facebook login, the fact that Facebook takes all your data to sublimely change your lifestyle, so they can make more money. You know, and we need clicks and views, guys. We need clicks and views. And unfortunately, talking about the Oculus Quest brings us clicks and views. We need to make money. We need the channel to grow. Oh well. But we don't have a Facebook account. We don't have an Oculus Quest Two, guys. But I'm here to bring you the news. Um, all right. And uh, so, Kibra, thank you. Viper Salamander, Viper Salamander, thank you. Uh, and uh, Keiki the Clown, thank you. You're very welcome, mate. All right. Let's uh, welcome some new subscribers to the channel. I'm so pumped. I love saying hi to you guys. I just love you guys. You, you're just, you're really awesome. You know. Um, all right. Let's go to see all recent subscribers. Let's go by date, subscribe. I'd like to welcome uh, Arturo Sosa, Artem Netayenjin, Ted Sikorski, Godflow, Raymondas, and, oh, I'm so sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but welcome to you. Uh, Koala Seri Kute, Sam Collins, DJ Rexy, Gaz Kawa, guys, thank you so much. Um, you know, thanks for, for subscribing to the channel. Please remember to share the video. So share it on Reddit, share on Twitter, share on your Facebook, share on LinkedIn, share it everywhere so more people get to see our videos. Excuse me, well, I'm just spitting everywhere. Uh, <laughs> sorry, too much information. You probably didn't see that coming off the camera. Oh, well, there you go. Uh, but anyway, yeah, do share it everywhere so we get more subscribers and we can grow the community. Guys, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers. That's where we are right now. Let's welcome more subscribers to the channel because you guys deserve it. I love you guys. Right. Uh, let's go back. Dun, 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 dun. I'd like to also welcome Robert Gilbert, Charles Fletcher, Liam Gillis, Jeffrey Mercy, A. Albix, Rebe, Ernie Zarimba, Mario Cortero Martinez, Markowitz19, and Jody Cahill. Guys, thank you again. Thank you so much. You guys are super awesome. I'll see you in the comments below, and I'll see you also in another video very soon. See you guys. Bye.